Well, we're excited to, to be here, uh, looking forward to the competition. It looks like uh, everybody's geared up, so we're pretty excited, and uh, it's kind of what we've worked for all year to, to get into the tournament and start to play, so I think our players are ready. Uh, we always have to deal like everybody does with finals and those kinds of things, so it's kind of multitasking, and it's always a challenge, And uh, but we have a good group, and we're excited. Can you tell us why it always so often comes, seems to come down to the USC and Hawaii in the postseason? No, I can't tell you why. <laughs> Can anybody? Uh, maybe it's just geography. Uh, seems seems like uh, it goes that way. I think uh, Texas has played Texas Tech the first round for X number of years. If I was at Texas State, I would, uh, sorry, Texas State has played Texas in the first round for a lot of years, and I, I think if I was at Texas State, I'd just plan on playing Texas if I got into the tournament. But um, one of the things about having a national championship is the excitement of seeing different teams and seeing how you can fare against them. And, uh, you know, this is the hand that, that we're dealt, so we just have to focus on this. Kendall and Alex, do you, have you been tired of seeing Hawaii come up in your bracket the last couple of years? Um, no, they always, um, they compete really well. It's always a very exciting game. There's nothing to get tired of. It's always good volleyball. We're here to just take on the challenge and play the game. Give us your memories of the, the last, the two sub-regionals a few years ago. What, what did you take from those? Because they were very different kind of matches. I mean, it was two years ago, so I think it's um, kind of difficult to look back on it. But I think you learn a lot from every game you play, especially during the um, NCAA tournament. So I think um, you just have to learn from what happens and just come back the next year. And I think we've done that. Um, it's helped us. What about last year, Alex? What do you remember about that? That's a little easier to recall. <laughs> yeah, um, last year, um, <laughs> a very exciting game, great crowd, did a great game, <laughs> great volleyball. That's really about all I remember. It was one of the best games I had, um, one of the games I enjoyed the most in my collegiate career. And Go over a little bit of um, background of Kanani and Chantil and their families. How did all this come about? Um, I think just through USA Volleyball. Um, we've been on the same teams, um, played uh, youth and junior teams together since the um, beginning of high school. So it's been fun playing against them in college too. Are the parents socialize as well? Um, yeah, they're friends. Everyone's pretty much, well my mom's part Hawaiian too so um, it's just that big Hawaiian family, so they're all friendly together. Nick, what, the, what do you consider the biggest surprise in volleyball this season? Probably the biggest surprise for me, um, we had to play really hard in our conference every night to be successful. And she moved to the wet. I'm when, sorry. <laughs> and when, uh, when we started the tournament, so many of our teams got knocked out early, uh, we've been scratching our heads to try to figure out why, because uh, they were good. Night in and night out, we prepared like mad. I mean, and we knew we were going to be stressed every night, and uh, we respect the players, you know, we have 123 freshmen and sophomores in the Pac-12 this year. That's an average of 10 per team. Uh, and, and that's the only thing that I can come up with that maybe uh, we're a conference to be reckoned with down the road, having so many young kids starting and playing. We, we probably have more freshman starters in, in our conference on the various 12 teams than maybe any other league, although I haven't checked that. And so maybe that's the reason, but that's what I was surprised with. I, I, I really thought our teams would go deep, and uh, uh, 
I respect the coaches and, and how hard they played against us and how hard we had to play against them, especially on the road. It was amazing. We just had slugfests uh, every weekend. Kendall, US, UCF must seem like a lifetime ago, but what did you guys learn from that loss that's carrying you over here? Um, I think like every other match, you just have to prepare, and I think that our team's gotten a lot better at doing that, and um, even every single game since then, we've gotten, we've improved, um, practices have been better since then, I think, so mostly the focus was just on that preparation before the game um, is a big deal. Was it just a bad match, or what? Bad matchups, or um, you guys were on the road for like a second week, right? Yeah, it was second week, but I mean, it was so long ago that um, I think our teams moved past that, and um, we can't really dwell on that for so long. And I think we're a new team now, and um, we've done a lot better since then. What's the biggest concern about Hawaii? Are you asking me? Well, uh, they're 31 and 1. Uh, it's like getting 30 kills. I don't care if there's nobody on the other side to hit 30 balls over the net on the floor. It's pretty, pretty hard to do, even in practice. So they have a, a good record. Uh, they've handled their schedule well. Uh, they played a formidable early schedule. I think losing only to UCLA, isn't that correct? And so uh, we we thought the Bruins were one of the top four teams in the country. We, th we think the Bruins are, are very good. Uh, so uh, we have a lot of respect for that. So um, I think they have uh, Danielson, who's proven to be a, a player that can, can uh, carry nine, night in and night out. That's very special. You, every team would like to have players like that. Uh, I think Dave's done a good job because he's virtually a very young team. He's got freshmen and sophomores out there playing. That's always scary. Anytime you have that many freshmen and sophomores and you put a uh, packed house in there, you don't know if they're how they're going to perform. Uh, and Two seniors is good, but three or four is what everybody looks for to have a chance to win the national championship. And, uh, you know, we have three seniors. We, we think we've done a great job in, in not only taking the bull by the horns this year, but of leading our younger kids. So uh, uh, I think Hawaii is a very good team. Uh, we just have to go to battle and see who wins.